Hey, what's up guys? Today, I wanna to show you guys a high intensity workout you guys could be doing from home or either in the gym. You're gonna have two options. Either you go to the gym and act as a treadmill over there, or if you could afford having your own treadmill at home, they are expensive. They could be going up to like a thousand to $3,000. Unfortunately, my treadmill is restricted to 9.5 miles per hour. After that, if I go in any higher after 10, it does overheat, but 9.5 is not a bad speed. If you do run a mile in the treadmill, you could be averaging about six minutes to six minutes and 30 minutes. So for those that are not advanced, this is gonna be quite challenging the speed the other option would be going to the gym one it's cheaper and two you'll be able to access so many equipment but when it comes to the gyms they tend to have high performance treadmills they are probably worth a thousand to three thousand dollars so you could go really fast on those so you want to go as fast as you can if you are advanced so with that being said if you guys love advanced fashion fitness skincare grooming dating tips consider subscribing So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to warm up. We're going to be walking in the treadmill for about two minutes. After those two minutes are over and the warm up is done, we're still going to warm up a little bit more. We're just going to run a steady jog pace for five minutes. And then once those five minutes are over, now we're going to start the insanity. So guys before you guys start this workout it is very vital for you guys to stretch there could be a possibility you will injure your legs if you do not stretch so please stretch it would actually prevent you guys from causing any injuries all right guys let's begin with this workout so we're going to be walking for about two minutes if that's too little for you it's fine you could warm up a little bit longer but for me two minutes is just enough it is very important for us to warm up before we actually start the main workouts. The reason is because a normal resting heart rate is about 60 to 100 beats per minute. So with that being said, you want to gradually increase your heart rate before you actually start the intensity workout. I believe there's a possibility you could get a heart attack if you don't warm up. So yeah, make sure you guys warm up. We're still going to continue to warm up just a little bit. We're gonna be jogging for about five minutes in the treadmill. You wanna be going at roughly about five miles per hour to six miles per hour. I believe that's a nice steady jog to gradually increase your heart rate. So right now I wanna give you guys advice if you guys do not know, in order for you guys to be able to run a little bit longer, since I used to do cross country back in high school, make sure you guys breathe at all times with your nose if you start breathing with your mouth you will get tired very very quickly it took me a long time for me to start breathing in with my nose only but if you work on breathing in with your nose at all times any workout you start doing you will last a little bit longer ah i miss when i was in high school i was goddamn fast baby call me flash but unfortunately i still am fast i'm not as fast as i was before uh, i believe my fastest mile was probably 5 at 15 at the time it's probably not the fastest in the whole world but it was fast for me now i could probably do a mile barely 550 you know from 515 to 550 a couple of seconds makes a big difference So now we're actually gonna flip it a little bit. I didn't tell you guys this in the beginning, but we're actually gonna have the treadmill incline, like literally incline the max it could go. We're not gonna have this level, that would be too easy. Since this is gonna be a high intensity workout, we're gonna have that motherfucker all the way to the max. So that's gonna be an intense workout, so get ready. All right, guys, so let's begin this workout. For any of my younger viewers around probably 13, 14, 15, in that age, most of the time, you can't get a gym membership. In most cases, you won't have an access to a treadmill. You can actually do this workout in the track and field or even just in the street. This workout is technically sprints, okay? You don't necessarily need a treadmill. So ideally, it's the same workout you could be doing either in the track and field, either in the streets at home. You could do this exact same workout if you do not have a treadmill. So I was the first interval so make sure you guys rest like about 15 to 30 seconds I know it's not a lot but that's the whole point of high intensity workouts the reason we want to do that is actually going to activate our afterburn effect I think that's what it's called so initially you will start burning calories even after the workout who wouldn't want to burn calories after you're just sitting down and laying down playing your video games reading a book or doing your homework At this stage, you will start feeling way more tired, more fatigued, 
you're gonna possibly mentally want to give up but trust me guys keep on pushing i know it's gonna be a little bit harder and trust me the more interval you do the more difficult it gets so at this stage right now try to make sure you mentally are there you be like hey we got this baby we got this let's bring in the flavor let's bring in the speed Oh, guys so now we finished the third interval now we're gonna go for the fourth one and at this point god damn i'm exhausted as hell i don't know if you guys noticed but when i'm right rubbing my foot against the actual belt of the treadmill mentally i'm like bro you got this baby you got this it's it's like if i'm my own hype man it kind of goes something like this come on dude you got this you got this oh man i'm fucking tired bro i'm tired i can't do this anymore motherfucker yes you can baby Come on, baby, you got this. And, and you know, like those football uh, players, they just slap your back like fucking hard. Oh, that's like me mentally. <laughs> Round five. <laughs> I tried doing the Mortal Kombat thing. I don't think it sounds like it at all. But the more you start doing sprints, I'm telling you guys, if you guys want to get a little bit more faster, and for those that are in track and field, and you want to get better in sprinting for like four by ones or four by fours, I'm telling you guys, sprints is the go. If you guys know what it is, I was about to start the next interval, but I was like, oh, hell no, I need I need to drink some water. I'm goddamn fatigued. I'm very tired. Please, if you guys are tired and you guys are thirsty, stop, go get some water, drink, and hydrate yourself. We're in the sixth interval. At this point, my state of mind was like, I just want to give up. I'm just goddamn tired. But you got to keep pushing yourself. You got you to gotta push your limits. That's what I did. At this point, I'm extremely exhausted. I want to sit down on my couch and relax for a little bit, a couple seconds. But I'd rather just lower down the speed and walk in the treadmill and then do this last one, which is going to be the seventh interval. So now I'm going to start speeding up the treadmill. I rested. I got a little bit of momentum. Now I think I'm fully loaded to do one single last sprint. So make sure the last one you do, you go all out. Like, I mean, you go hard, baby. When you have the treadmill incline, it's exhausting, especially if you have to sprint it. It's like if you're running uphill, you, and, and you guys know that is very difficult to do. So this next step is going to be optional. We're going to be lowering down the treadmill and we're going to walk on it. We want to make sure we're good to go because we're going to do one single last one. Like I said, this is optional. We're going to keep the same speed, 9.5. That's what I was going. And we're going to go fucking hard as fast as we can and try to do it as long as you can until you like literally you cannot go anymore. So now we're officially done with the entire workout. Uh, leave a comment down below. What do you guys think from a scale from 1 to a 10? How difficult does this look?
You see how much I'm sweating? You see how much I'm breathing? It's much easier, you know, doing it leveled, but when you have it inclined, oh man, it's so intense. I, I'm telling you, even if you're advanced, this gets difficult. Once you have it leveled, you'll realize how easy it is versus incline. You wanna make sure you start jogging again, you know, and then do the final one. Do the same speed that you were doing previously since I was doing 9.5, even when it was zero leveled, it's a little bit much easier. I don't know how to explain it, but once you physically do this, you're gonna realize how easy it is when it's leveled and go as fast as you can, obviously 9.5, that's what I did. As much as you can, until you give up, you stop, done. You'll start sweating a lot. Like, I mean, a fuckload. Do you wanna prepare you guys? This workout was intense. When you do this workout, if you're tired and you're at the point that you wanna fall down or you're really, you just wanna stop, stop. Safety and your health is more important than falling down, fainting, hitting your face, breaking your back, breaking your leg. So yeah. So with that being said, guys, have fun with this workout because this was really difficult. So have a great day, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.